John here guys and today we're talking about a few upgrades, add-ons and convenience features to add to your Fat Shark goggles. Now this also pretty much applies to any pair of Fat Shark style goggles. So the Sky Zones, the Omways, the Ishin EV200s, etc, uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is buy some spare foams. Not everyone's face fits perfectly. Um, these are the Fat Shark HDOs and it comes with this very nice pleather uh, plush sort of a face foam. Now this worked for my face perfectly, but a lot of people prefer the newbie drones. Um, this Fat Shark pack actually comes with one, two, three, four different foam sizes. There's a soft foam and a replacement pleather. And the nice thing about on these Fat Sharks, uh, these attach with Velcro. So all you gotta do is peel the old one off, slap the new one in. And mine, especially if you live in the hotter areas of the world, um, when you have your sweat going on your forehead, put these up here this little pleather will start wearing off and you'll start getting little black flecks of stuff on your face um, after you take the goggles off. So it's time for me to replace these, which is why I thought I'd make that video. Now, the other thing that can happen is this is the standard Fat Shark battery case. And I'm gonna put these back on my forehead so I can see. Um, now this battery case, as you can see, the balance lead has started to come off. Now, I actually really like this style battery because it has a USB plug that you can use to charge. Um, but if you want something that may last you a little bit longer, you can opt to get the Fat Shark um, 18650 battery case. Now you can see the 18650 case is a bit larger but that allows you to run your typical 18650 battery cells um, like this. And these should run for quite a long time. Um, these are generally like 15, 20, 25 bucks. And if you catch them on sale like I did, you can get them much, much cheaper. Other option is this combo. This is a cloth sort of a padded, nice plush face foam from URUAV uh, that is quite stylish and it also comes with a soft uh, head strap. Let's go ahead and put that on. Okay, so here you go with that on. You can see the nice blue on the side. Now, when they offered to send me these for review, I probably should have got them to send me rapid fire red instead of this new blue actually it does look pretty nice it, it halfway makes me want to paint this rapid fire cover blue to match but um i do live in a warmer climate and so i'm not sure if this cloth is really going to absorb a lot of sweat you notice i'm wearing a hat i always wear a hat out to the field um because one, when you're setting up gates, you get a little shade in your face from the front. And then two, when you're flying and you tend to put your goggles up on your forehead, um, your hat will kind of block some of that sweat, make these uh, foams and pads last a little bit longer. Uh, but this is a very nice low cost option. Comes with both the foam and the strap. This is the Skyward RC Fat Cable V2. It is the Vader edition. I did review this on the channel. It has the on off switch. So this allows you to plug any uh, two to four S LiPo to power your goggles and just leave it in your pocket. Actually, I think it might take even a five or a six S. And then this just goes up onto your goggles like so. So a lot of people are always curious about what are the best antennas? What are the best antennas? I personally feel like the best antenna combo is the VAS. Um, Crosshair Extreme that I reviewed along with this Vast Ion 2 that I have here on the front. Now I've been testing having two Omnis. Uh, this is just a regular Luminar Axi, you know, screws straight in there. And the other thing that you can get, these come with a lot of the Vast antennas, but these little SMA tightening devices, this little blue thing right here, that really helps to keep your antenna um, cranked down. Because a lot of times what will happen if you don't have one of these is it'll get loose and you'll end up flying with your antenna pointed down like that. 
So what other things do you guys do for your um, goggles? Do you like putting stickers on there or wrap or painting them? Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.